Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and what's this? A game that's not Mass Effect? Am I going back to two uploads a week? Well, maybe. Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, Intergrade got released yesterday, and in order for me to avoid any spoilers, I want to get this uh, intermission episode out of the way now. So with that in mind, let's get on, let's get on it. Normal will do. Looking forward to this because this is with characters I'm not all that familiar with. It's a Moogle! Wu Tai's finest. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. A plate. <laughs> Impressive. Forces operative for the new Wu Tai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. So, members of Avalanche. Thanks, sack boy. Can you go away? You're covering up important information. Right. Right, Ooh, okay. So you're a fisticuffs kind of uh, fighter. I dig it. Doom rats! Oh no, toxic rats. If you can fight effectively both up close and from range, press square to strike a foe with a throwing start. Hold square to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Okay, cool. Oh yes! Whoa! What's that? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, that was awesome. So Yuffie is uh, really damn skilled. A pressing truck, you can hurl her weapon at a target. Press square while it is away for her to perform long range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press triangle again. No oh, so that's what that was. Elusive Mogul 
continues. Ah, there's another poster. A fishing triangle UV is capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. Try to destroy multiple boxes at once by giving UV the perfect vantage point. Alright, they're too far away. That's fair enough. Oh, I can run faster. Nice. Okay, that's going to require me getting... Abilities, Art of War, Windstorm, don't know what that does, let's have a look. Alright, that didn't do a lot. Ninjutsu, let's try that. Oh, that just changes the ninjutsu style. Okay. But bear with me, guys, I'm learning. I'm not uh, a Final Fantasy fan. Um, those of you who watched my playthrough of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I'll put in the description down below, I uh, mentioned that I've only really played 10 and 10 part 2, the stories to complete, so I didn't really bother playing the playing the 200%. I couldn't really get with the turn-based combat in them. Oh, there's material up there. Turn-based combat really isn't my thing, so when I tried the demo for, for the remake of this, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a playthrough of it, but I ended up loving the demo. And uh, bought the standard game and just completely fell in love with the characters and the story. So, yeah, I can say with confidence that this Final Fantasy VII Remake is a Final Fantasy that I actually like. And it's not very often I can say that. Right, so how do I get up to you? Uh, Way to climb up these? No, okay. Oh, it's one of these dudes. Eleven. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, well, guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. If these weapons can be used to strike more than just crates, try tossing it at hard to reach objects such as distant switches. Okay, cool. <laughs> Useful. Oh, 
Right, you have fun with your reunion. There we go. Oh, can't fault him for trying. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't. Gotcha. Ah, it's way over here. Yes, chest. I will take those. I will probably need them at some point. Right, let's grab this materia. HP up material, right. Uh, what do I currently have? As we still command to do area damage, okay. It allows you to use healing spells, parry, uh, access, uh, assess. Add fire because I like fire. Ah, might as well do some upgrading. AP up, attack power, magic power. Yeah, let's boost that. All right, that would do. Need to try and remember these things. I haven't played Final Fantasy VII for a while. I played a bit of it last night for the uh, remake, just to see how it looked on PS5 at 60 FPS, and it looks so much better. And they fixed the door. Ten out of ten game. Nine out of ten when the door was. Looking dodgy. Ah, I think we're all done here. Yeesh, this town's a total duck. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. Ha! <laughs> Got him! Ooh, power wrist guards. Add those on there might be useful. Anything else? Sat boy, fuck off. <laughs> Oh, another robe dude. Huh? I gotta do something. Oh, you'll do the trick. Come on down. If, th if throwing star misses or an object has 
uh, but its flight path it will automatically return to your feet. Time, time your throws carefully and make sure nothing can interrupt them. So that's what that's for. Hold on, creepy reunion dude. I am on my way. ATB hadn't charged up enough for me to heal myself. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, those do those things are not to be messed with. So anything here that might have helped me. Ah, that might be why. My health was already low. Shit. No. Like my precious. I really did. I'm, I was ugh. Why didn't you dodge? I was telling you to dodge. That's what the circle's for. That's the dodge button. Or were you stunned? You feet, can you dodge out of their way? Limit break. What what do you do? Blood buff. Let's do it. Oh, you're a different one. Twenty. Well, that was tough. I just remember I'm not as I'm back to level one with Yuffie, I'm not Cloud where I'm level fifty. Right, let's have a let's do an explore. Oh, another materia. Wind, nice. What are the posters? Ooh, yes, thousand gil, thank you.
Another robed man. Is he hiding here? No. Yeah, Genova, you said. Oh, this looks familiar. It is. This is the scrapyard. That rotten egg smell's gone. Must have gotten used to it. Things are going. I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. I'm talking to myself. City's getting to me. Let's make sure I'm not missing any boxes or anything. Yes! Thought there might be materia here. MP up materia, that might be useful. But that's all sealed. Boxes! No, we're all good. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? Sure. Not gonna be good for any of us if Wu-Tai's got this far down there. Local Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad, not bad at all, but I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? There's our palm. Oh, you're Avalanche? I'm Gigi. Follow me. W wait up! Yeah, don't go saying it out loud, jeez. So, Gigi, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Uh huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Well, here we are. Ladies first. They didn't get caught. They'll turn up. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. I can almost taste your pizza. Oh, Wedge Jess. How are you guys doing? Oh. Now I'm sad. Oh, the blue bench of Healy. I 
I needed that. Ooh, purple. You obtained a boomerang. Excellent. Hello. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nio. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the New Utai Government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. That's like a rule. Huh. Uh. <laughs> but I did bring these. Wutai's famous Dachau beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're a bit of an odd one, aren't you? You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually... I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So, Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. All right. Billy Bob, how are your teeth? <sighs> My teeth? You're welcome. So the material I'm <laughs> looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? <laughs> Didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra Building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. Hey, Polk. I'm kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Hmm. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. <laughs> Well, aren't you a bag of sunshine and rainbows, Polk? You got anything else to say? You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And 
what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Beginner's Guide to Fort Condor. What the hell is this? Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. Loadout. You can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATB charges and material available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and, bo uh, and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly your opponent the opponent's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right each unit has a weakness that uh, that can be exploited for massive damage therefore keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours you can you can't edit your board or units at the moment so press x to start all right so I can't make any changes right now. I don't know what this is. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the time runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Each unit has an ATB cost required to place it on the board. Your ATB charges, which refill over time, can be viewed at the bottom of the screen. Uh, move the cursor on the spot to which to deploy a unit, then press X to begin selecting the unit you want. To change the drop location, press cancel and reselect. A unit assigned to one of three roles, Vanguard, Ranger or Defense, pay close attention to these roles as they determine what enemies a unit will be effective against. Vanguard units are effective against ranged units, ranged units are, are effective against defense units, defense units are effective against Vanguard units. Alright. A unit's role is displayed above them when placing a unit on the board, enemy troops that are at a disadvantage will be highlighted. A diagram will illustrate the relationship between the three roles can also be viewed at any time during the match. The front line. You can move the cursor anywhere within your own territory as far as your father's unit has advanced. Extend the front of extend the front line deeper into enemy territory to press the advantage. Okay. Nice. Magic Attacks Material allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Press L1 to select a location to cast your magic. Once you have made your decision, press X to unleash the attack power. Offensive spells work differently in Fort Condor in that they do not deal elemental damage, instead each spell has its own unique attack pattern. Spells can only be used once per battle, so knowing when and where to cast them is key.
Yay, did I win? Yeah! Okay. Okay, I think I understand this. Sorry if I was a bit quiet, I was concentrating because I had no idea what there was. How'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! Hey! You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. The guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> The guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Alright, and uh, what about you? you? Got anything more to uh, say? Solon's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes? There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, you're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him! Man deserves some de chow beans. Ugh, all this talking's giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? All right. And you know what? I think this will do for the first episode. Don't wanna get too hot, too far ahead of myself. So I will end this one here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrade, the Intermission DLC. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.